Well, Stephen Harper has made it clear Canada won't take part in any military action against Syria. Today, several rallies were held across the country opposing any intervention by the U.S. Amanda Margeson has that story. We don't want your bloody war! It wasn't Obama's decision to delay action that was on people's minds at this protest. Here, it was a call for peace. News that the U.S. is ready to move on Syria at all is not popular. It's not for them to decide what happens in Syria. There are Syrians here today, others too with roots in the Middle East. These women just returned from Lebanon, where many Syrians have fled as refugees. Five children, I've seen five children. They're on the streets. Why does anyone deserve this? It's a question people here are asking too. They're preparing for a town hall meeting with this Syrian politician. I'm not sure what uh, he meant with uh, limited action. The opposition leader says Obama is right to prepare to strike, but he says Syrians can't wait much longer. Using chemical weapons in Syria is a red line. And now it's very clear that Bashar al-Assad and his regime cross the red line. Obama says this was an attack on human dignity. And indeed, these images shocked the world, including these young Canadians. I guess military intervention might be uh, necessary in some cases and in this one in particular. We have a lot of Syrian colleagues. We see distress on their face. Protests were held across the country this afternoon from Calgary all the way to Montreal. Most of them calling for the U.S. to back away, hopeful that the upcoming vote in Congress will end the talk of war. Don't use uh, weapons to get to a solution. Canada won't be involved in any military action, but protesters here say when the world gets involved, the debate still needs to happen, even if it means taking it to the streets. Amanda Margis and CBC News, Toronto.